Well, I haven't been to this beach in three years, I think. They replenished it three, two or three years ago, and I have never been back here. <clears throat> and to the east of here is not far from where I live, but they're filling in with all new sand with a big dredge. They've been working on it for a couple of months. It's, it's like, well, it's going to be like this beach is now when, it, when they're finished. But this beach has been, uh, been a lot of depositors on it in three years. I'm going to try it. It's 4th of July, you know what I mean? You got to go. Stand by. Got right many depositors over there. <coughs> right many depositors over here. I like it. Let me see how it goes. Well, we got a lost ring right here. As soon as I get it in the water. Young lady said her friend just lost her ring right here. I don't know what kind of ring, but we look for it. No ring yet, but we found a chain. The Knox has been underwater for 30 minutes. We dug two bottle caps in that chain, that's it. Now we got a hollow uh, solid 28. Decent sound we had. They got marked for the radiation. They put like little tattoos on you. I got three marks. I got the prostrate mark and the two uh, pelvic lymph nodes. The lady said it'd be seven to 10 days from Friday before they had a plan. Then radiation starts every day, five days a week. For nine weeks, I gotta do it. I don't know what that's gonna do to my night business nor my detecting business. Some people handle radiation differently. The main factor is fatigue, from what they tell me. I guess I'll find out more about that. Stand by. Now I got a drippy nine. Eleven. Another cap. 
This is going to be my day for change. I got another change. A nine. Hey man! <laughs> 